It was my uh, very, very first paying job in the industry. Uh, I just graduated college. Um, I was the assistant to a director named Karen Arthur on a Sybil Shepherd TV movie called Journey of the Heart. Um, and it was amazing. Like I was with her every step of the way. I got to go through the entire production. Um, I had a cameo as I think music school student with oboe, I, see, I vaguely remember. And, um, and it really confirmed what a totally shit actor I was. So then it really helped me stay on this, this side of the camera that I'm on. I think I just wanted to be a filmmaker and, you know, and I didn't know uh, if it was going to be movies or TV or at the time I thought it was going to be a comedy writer and it turns out I sucked at it. So, uh, but then I started writing like horror and genre and then that seemed to go well. So it was a circuitous path, I would say. Um, but I always wanted to be in the industry and, you know, it's kind of, it's amazing to me. It's still, it's something I'll never take for granted. It's insane that um, I was able to fool this many people for this long. My guess is I found out about it through USC. Um, that's where I went to school. Um, but like, I just applied and like, I was, I, I do remember like hearing that I got in and hearing that I was gonna be on a, on a TV movie set all summer. And just, I definitely remember like, that there was definitely feelings of joy that day. And it was so fun. We just shot all over LA and uh, on the Fox lot. And um, you know, it was just very heady for, for me. Karen is, was one of the first great female television directors. Um, you know, she uh, was instrumental in shows like Cagney and Lacey. Um, and she, you know, made like TV movies like True Women. Like she was really like a trailblazer. And um, so it was just, and it was just fascinating to be at her side because she was so skilled and so experienced. Um, and just everything from, you know, initial, you know, dinners with the actors to the first read through to all of production. Um, and then she even let me sit in on a couple of days of post. Um, and, and so just being able to go through it from start to finish and, and really see how she is able to, how she was able to work with the actors and the DP on a, on a television you know, pace and budget, it was just super educational. And there's things, you know, I, I'll, I'll direct a few episodes now and again, and there's still th lessons that I take uh, from Karen um, that uh, I use today. In some ways, The Boys is a horror movie. It's like, if superheroes were real, it would be horror, horror pure horror. Uh, so uh, it kind of is, and like, you know, my uh, great affection for gore and VFX and prosthetics, like all come into like all the gory kills on the boys. Um, like people always tend to say, if they know me, they're like, what's wrong with you? And we didn't realize you were so damaged. And I would say, but if you knew how fun it was to make it, like it's the closest I'll ever come to being paid to play with puppets. Like they're puppets, it's amazing, it's so innocent. If you're there on the day, it's the opposite of like gory and disturbing and dark. Like everyone's just so happy and you're playing with these puppets that are like wired with these like tubes that spurt blood. And it's just, it's the most fun of any day. Um, and so I, I honestly just keep writing the scenes because they're like a blast to pull off. Like I said, from, from Karen and, uh, and just moving through the business, um, you know, the thing uh, I, people would always ask me because I've written and produced both, you know, and they say, what's the difference between television and film? And I would always say, oh, TV people work for a living. And, um, and, and so there's like this very cool, not precious, down to earth, practical energy that comes out of television um, where, you know, the first pilot I ever wrote um, uh, I had David Nutter to direct it, who's, you know, a legend, and, and I got to be by his side. And, he, and I was 27 years old, 28 years old, uh, and I got to sit with him and go through the entire process and ask him questions. And it's just everyone, you know, TV people, I think, are really generous, and, and he was so generous with his time and his skill. Um, 
And so, you know, being able to hang out with him and being able to hang out with Bob Singer, who was my partner on Supernatural, who ran Midnight Caller and Lois and Clark. Um, you know, there's like a, there's a, there's a lineage, right? There's like a history because Dan Curtis trained Bob and Bob trained me. And so a lot of, and I'm now training a group of people who are all moving on. And a lot of the things I found out that a lot of the lessons I'm imparting originally came from Dan Curtis. So there's like these family lineages, right? There's like the Chris Carter guy. You, like, you know when there's a Chris Carter person because of like um, the cards that they write. They have a very specific way of breaking story. And you, so you can always tell like where the generations come. And, and I think that's because everyone is so you know, generous with their time and knowledge. It was so fun, you know, like definitely like a, a full circle moment. And, um, and just to see like, and he was like, he was so young and excited and, and, and happy. And, um, and it was nice. It kind of reminded me of uh, uh, before I was quite so dead inside. Um, but so it was really good. I would say that if you want to be a writer, writers write. Um, it's a craft way more than it's an art and you get great at it through practice and trial and error. Uh, you know, it's the same as a great carpenter making a table. Like, you just have to work at it. So write every single day. Um, and then it was Bob Singer who gave me the best piece of show running advice I ever got. It was on day one of Supernatural, and it's still the best advice I ever heard. And he said, uh, the first rule of show running is you are in the business of making decisions. And the corollary to that rule is it doesn't actually have to be the right decision. Um, and that's the best advice. That's the best way to do that job.